done that. Hello guys, what is going on? I know it has been quite a while since I've made a video, but you know, since everyone is at home with what's going on right now, I figured I'd check back in with you guys and bring you a little something just to keep you entertained and also keep myself active. And also keep myself entertained. And to do that, I, you know, picked up some more playing cards because what else am I going to do from the art of play because they had their used and abused card sale as I like to call it. <laughs> Not really, it's it's a sale that they usually do where they have like three different bins, one's like workers, one's like gently used and the other one's like new um, and they vary from like three, five, seven dollars. So I was like, this is an opportunity I will grab. Um, some cards, you know, and, and see if I can get lucky. You just purchase however many you want and they just give you some random decks. So it's pretty much like the Christmas um, mystery deck giveaway, or not giveaway, but sale that they do. Well, I picked up a half brick and we're gonna check these bad boys out and see what I got. I haven't looked at them yet, so hopefully I got some good cards. Oh, and I forgot to mention this video, I will be doing a giveaway. So if you wanna like, comment, and subscribe, I will be giving away one deck of cards that I ordered from The Art of Play to uh, one lucky winner. So I got the cards right here. They're still wrapped up. I guess I'm going to just pull out one at a time and see what I got. I might get some cards that I'm unfamiliar with or don't know, but that's the fun of this. So if I'm like, oh, I don't know what these cards are, we'll figure it out together. Oh, and first first one off the bat is some hand shields. It's a little glare hand shields. Yeah, I have never seen these cards before. They say modern edition on the front and very minimalistic, kind of classic looking playing cards. Let's see what the bottom says. Manufactured United States Playing Card Company. So they are made by uh, USPCC. But I've heard of hand shields before and never really took a close look at them. So they're one of 2,500, so maybe a Kickstarter project. Hand shields, next deck. Oh! What's this? Oh! I got some Piff the Magic Dragon cards. If you don't know who Piff is, he is kind of like a comedic magician. I've seen a few of his performances, not too many. That's really cool. So this is the front of the tuck. And then they're actually signed um, by him. I think that's real ink. I'm not 100% sure there, but yeah, it says um, 2015 Piff Magic Dragon. Originally concept by John Van Der Poot. <laughs> and it has a little flap like that, and they open up like that. That's really cool. The box just kind of opens up. Um, instead of like a typical box and the card just kind of dump out. It's different. Um, I, I knew he had his own deck of cards. Wow, these feel really good actually. <laughs> Gotta get a smell test. Oh, that's right. I remember these now. They come with these three cards that create like a box stand because in Piff's performances creates like a little stand that he puts all of his his like magic suitcase or magic box so to speak on that and he like pulls out his gimmicks and stuff from there and his performances so that's pretty cool they come with ad cards of food it looks like <laughs> there's like a sandwich there's some cheese and some ham that's funny let's keep let's keep it moving let's keep it moving let's see Lucky card number three. Oh, edge playing cards. Designed by Creative Mints. Same on the front and the back. And they just say the design on the sides. I've never, I'm not too familiar with these. Let's keep it rolling. Sticker in here from where to play, thank you. Oh, I actually know these. Uh, finally a deck that I know. These are Gemini Goblins, that's what they're called. This deck's wild. I actually really like this deck. Yeah, so the tuck is like just cr this crazy wild um, green and black, different patterns and shapes all over it. I'm a real, I'm a big shape guy, so 
this is this is really cool to me yeah goblins by gemini these cards are really cool really like the design of of those cards moving on oh 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 chocolate playing cards i haven't seen these before either uh, i got a little excited because i saw the black and gold and i thought there was some other deck but it's chocolate playing cards designed by chocolate playing card company. I didn't even know that there was a playing card company called chocolate playing cards. So that's interesting. All caps, chocolate across the front. Um, there's a little detail, kind of like a chocolate bar wrapper on the gold part. That's cool that I'm just seeing now. Um, the back's just all black, basically. This deck has no seal either. I think a lot of these cards are smaller, you know, kind of just startups, so they opt for the no seal. I think because that's cheaper, excuse me, to produce. Haven't seen these before. Kind of interested to see what the actual decks look like. So right now, we have three, four, five. Five cards that we've gone through. Last one. Oh, this is cool. I got a Cardistry Con. I believe this is last year's Cardistry Con deck. I believe these were printed by United Playing Company, distributed by Art of Play. Yeah, so these are distributed by Art of Play, where I <laughs> drop, just drop the deck, where I purchased all of these cards from. It has a cool kind of offset um, seal to it. It says Cardistry Con on there. All over it, it just says Cardistry in this embossed um, kind of dark army green i would say darker forest green i would say army green is an accurate representation of this color <laughs> it says playing cards on this side i'm gonna open some of these up and maybe do some shuffling for you guys and uh yeah guys enjoyed that video I had for you guys since I picked up some decks of cards from Art to Play I figured I would just uh, unbox them for you guys and see what mystery slash random deck sale that they do is like so I hope you guys enjoyed that so with that being said we will catch you in the next one guys